I'm going to show you how to check for your IP and leaks, maybe you're torrenting or whatever you're doing. Uh, I do a lot of torrents, so I have to make sure I'm not leaking. All right, here's one way. It's called ipleak.net. Right here is my IP, your IP address. That's not my real IP because um, I'm under a VPN. And it, right here is what you're looking for where it says Nobis Technology Group. You want to make sure that your uh, actual provider is not there such as Comcast, whoever. And no, this is the DNS. It, as you can see, there's, no, there's nothing there. Usually it'll say like Google or something underneath the, where it says United States. Um, if you see your provider, such as Comcast there, that's how you know you have a leak. Um, I have no leak because there, it doesn't say anything. If you see Google, that's okay. But if you see your provider, then you have a leak on DNS leak. Now WebRTC this is used for like video conversations in Google and things like that. Um, in Chrome, you cannot disable WebRTC, but you can, however, disable it in some ways. Because um, basically, it's just showing my IP. If you really had a WebRTC leak, it would show your local IP underneath here. Um, but you can disable it with this extensions. I'm using two. Um, it's called uBlock Origin, which you can download that free. And it's very good for ad blocking as well. And then this one right here is just for WebRTC. I just run them both just because. <laughs> Probably. Um, but I did a test on both. UBlock will keep it blocked. But the reason I'm actually running both is because UBlock says it won't block for Facebook or something weird like that. I don't know. But if you really are concerned about your local IP leaking, you can just use Firefox, um, which I'll do the same little test on here. If you go. IP leak again you'll see there is nothing there <laughs> no web RTC leak because under Firefox you can disable web RTC completely without any extensions um, as you can see it's the same thing um, but I wouldn't worry too much about the web RTC I mean that's like I said that's the same exact IP but if I didn't have the extension it would just show my local IP and like block here I'll show you what that looks like let me just turn both of these extensions off and uh, reload this page you can see there those are my local IPs there but the thing is there's nothing to worry about because so many people have those like millions you know what I mean some there's probably like thousands of people that have the same uh, local IP as you because you know it's based off of your device so I wouldn't worry too much about it but you know but it can still identify you if you're worried about that you know, like just like it, also your screen size can identify you according to tour because if you look down here it'll say your screen size anyway I'm rambling on the but yeah this is how to check for DNS leaks um, and if, if you want to know how to fix them, uh, basically you would just need a VPN, which I'll make another video about that. But, yeah, thanks.